behind every successful mobile app on the market is a great monetization strategy. Think of Zero, an app generating $7 million a year. Breeze, generating over $10 million a year. Or Blinkist, bringing in $24 million a year. But what do every single one of them have in common? Well, that is their amazing paywalls. A paywall is one of the most effective strategies to monetize your mobile apps. Paywalls allow you to offer premium content or features to your users for a payment. They act as a barrier to lock certain features or functionality down until the user signs up or activates a free trial. And the apps that I mentioned at the beginning of the video have this strategy on lockdown. They're constantly split testing, iterating and making changes to their paywalls all backed by data. Because it's not uncommon for improvements to your paywall to increase your app's revenue by 50 to 200%. That's why the tool we're going to take a look at in this video is very special as it allows you to build and test your paywalls quickly without having to publish updates to your app. The super wall you can build out highly converting paywalls and ship to your app within minutes, all without writing code. They've got an easy to use drag and drop builder, which you can use to build out your paywalls exactly as you want them to look. Over a hundred highly converting templates to choose from if you're feeling stuck, A-B tests, dynamic placements, user targeting, revenue analytics, and much more. This could be one of the most important tools for your app's revenue. So let's jump in and see how it works. So this is what the Superwall dashboard looks like. And here on the left, we have the menu that we'll be using for all of the different tools. So first up here, we have the different apps that we link. We can switch quickly between them. And right after that, we'll have the quick start section. Here we have the steps that show exactly how we get started the Superwall and configure it with our app. And once you're done with that, you can head over to the paywall section. This is where you actually create the paywalls themselves. Here we have an overview of all of the different paywalls that we have, the active ones, the inactive ones, the archived ones. And then here on the right, we just click here to actually build the template itself. We can either use a template, we can start from scratch, or we can actually request a template to be made by Superwall themselves. So let's actually choose from one of the pre-made templates that they have already. They have over 100 highly converting templates on here already that you can choose to get started with, so you don't have to build from scratch. You can just go through here, find the one that best suits your app, choose it, and go from there. If in the templates, none of them match your needs, and you actually have your own design made in maybe Figma, you can actually request that design to be made into a template. You just click on the button here, submit it to them, and they'll turn that Figma design into a template for you within a week, which is a pretty cool feature. So that can actually save you time if you already have designs made, or you have another design somewhere else that maybe they don't have here. Though they do have a lot of designs here, and that's pretty awesome. So let's say if you want to go for this one. So this is the, what the actual editor for the paywalls looks like. Here we'll see the overview of the paywall and the builder itself. We can navigate for all of the different sections here, arrange them in the way that we want by just drag and dropping them, and edit edit whatever that we want. So we can click on the specific text bits and actually edit them here on the right. We can edit the colors, the fonts, the spacing, everything that we need to make it look exactly how we want. I don't have a product linked the then super wall right now. So that's why you're seeing some of the section display like this. But what these sections are, are actually variable sections. So it would actually be our products that we link within Superwall. Now we can then link here the, the variables to display the custom pricing. Add the different variables, you just click here and go for the variables that you create. You can also add different animations and stuff like that in the tab behavior. So once somebody buys something or clicks on a button, it animates the section. Here in the products tab, that's where you'll see all the products from your app. Once you link Superwall to your app and add the products, you can do that all in here. You have the theme section. So here you can edit all the background colors, the primary colors, as well as fonts and paddings. You have the variables, that's where you add the variables themselves. You can just click here and add any kind of variables that you need. We have localization section, so we can actually make different versions of the paywall in different languages. Here we have surveys. So here we can add a survey, for example, if somebody doesn't buy this and cancels it, we can have a survey that pops up and ask them questions on why they did it. This would be here. Once you create a survey, you can just link it here and it will show up. We have the notifications as well, as well as settings and a debugger. And once you're actually done with your paywall, you've finished building it out, you can click on preview here and it will give you a QR code that you can scan on your phone so you can see exactly what it looks like on an actual physical device. So to show the actual paywalls, we'll be using campaigns. In the campaign tab, we'll see overview of all our campaigns and we can create new ones by clicking here. And that's what the campaign creation itself looks like. So the campaigns work by having by combining placements and audiences. We can define different placements. So they already have a lot of ones that are pre-made here, but you can also make ones yourself. But just for the, this sake, I'm just gonna select this random one and add it here. You can add multiple placements as well. So you can have the same paywalls for different placements and here to 
make sure that our paywalls display only for the specific kind of users, we can create custom audiences. This is what the audience tab looks like. You can actually add a new one. So let's say if you add a new audience, you can rename it here and then go through all of the different points here to create your audience. You can choose from here, from some of the ones they have pre-made here, or if you wanted to, you can actually make your own one just by start typing and you can make your own filter. Um, you can also add limits. So how often they'll see those paywalls. And then once you have all that done, it will actually show you a preview of active users that fulfill those filters limitations. And here, once we create our audience, we can add a paywall here. You can add multiple paywalls and you can actually segment what percentage of the users each paywall will receive. So let's say we just want to A-B test. So we're going to send 50% here and then 50% here. So as you can see, it's super easy to just set up quick split tests. In the results tab, we'll actually see the results. So the overview of the different audiences as well as the different users. We'll also see transactions. Here we'll display all of the data, all of the transactions, and we can see exactly where it came from as well as the different matches of the audience. We also have the charts tab here. Of course, it will show all the data. I don't have anything linked in here, so I can't really show you the data right now. But there's a lot of options here to break down the data to see exactly what you want. You can display by different events, event ratios, user ratios. You can also set up different breakdowns by paywalls, campaigns, transactions, devices, and as well as different filters. Uh, that's pretty much it for the key features. This is the key things that you'll be using, which will be the paywalls and the campaigns. So you'll be using those two tabs to set up your different testings and setting up different paywalls. But there's some other additional tabs that you can find useful, like products tab, where you can set up all of the different products for your app. So let's say we have a one week free trial, you can set it up. Here we also have the, that tab for the surveys that we saw in the paywalls before. We have the users tab, so we can see all of the different users and actually filter by the different placements localization as well as docs. They have a very well laid out docs tab where you can actually see all of the documentation for the things that you want to set up. But if you ever feel stuck, you feel like you're out of ideas, you're not sure what to do for your paywall, you can actually head to their inspiration tab. And here they have compiled a list of 8,763 different paywalls that you can use to find the one that might be suitable best for your app. If you know any specific apps that you actually would like to see, you can search them up here. For example, let's say pliability. You can actually see exactly what they are doing. They're actually kind of cool. They also show you the data of how much they're making of their paywalls, as well as all of the different apps that are in that niche as well. So that can actually help you find inspiration from other apps that you might have not seen before.